what you're seeing here is a nest of the northern paper wasp, or also known as dark paper wasp. It's a common species in southern Canada, uh, eastern United States. Um, I don't know much about other types of paper wasps, but these wasps are not very aggressive. They seem to ignore uh, people for the most part. I have heard the usually the female, the dominant female, is somewhat aggressive, but they're mostly aggressive to seems like other wasps. Um, they like to nest in uh, under eaves of houses. They seem to be associated with human dwellings. And uh, I'm going to show you why they're a really great uh, friend in the garden. They are very docile. They don't seem to cause any problem. And until this year, I did not uh, realize what they eat and it turns out that they eat caterpillars lots of caterpillars this is the first year I've grown broccoli and had to deal with the horrible pest the cabbage white butterfly these larvae just devour my broccoli plants and just recently I noticed that the wasps are devouring the uh, larva so I'm going to show you that and you'll Hopefully you realize how important wasps are in your garden, not only as pollinators, but as predators of pests. Uh, I wanted to show off a couple of broccoli plants that I have n basically neglected. These are a uh, hybrid called Sipsy Artwork Broccoli, and they produce really nice heads. And then they produce a lot of side shoots after, and I'm really happy with them. But the cool thing about this plant is that I have not protected this plant from pests at all. Uh, the main pest being cabbage white. Uh, and I was out here a day ago, or two days ago, and I saw wasps. Um, I was out here and I saw all these wasps swarming, and of course they were, they were attacking cabbage white larvae on the plant. And I just saw them again swarming out here. Um, but I didn't see them take anything away. The other day I saw them taking some big caterpillars away. Anyway, I just thought it was cool to have natural uh, pest control in the garden. It's interesting because I have broccoli plants over in the other garden and they're, they have a lot worse uh, damage uh, to the, the broccoli leaves and the heads. Um, and I've been trying to pick cabbage worm eggs and and the uh, and the larva off of the plant it was almost to no avail they're just the plants are just covered there he is searching the broccoli plants so this is another variety of broccoli uh, it was given to me in a seed swap um, but I have been trying my hardest to keep cabbage worms off of this and the number of cabbage worms up in the florets is kind of horrendous uh, and some of them there's like you know on the main head there might be over 50 worms all up inside it damaging the, the florets um, so yeah these ones are you know they're, they're getting eaten you can see um, there's been some significant damage in here, much more than the other spot over there. There's some new ones I've just planted. They might need some water. Looking a little bit droopy. Again, you know, quite a bit more damage on these. Um, hey, look, we have a friend here. There's another one of these wasps. He's looking for caterpillars. Go get them. Our wasp friend catching oh yeah he's right in there is he gonna get one this is where the caterpillars love to hide and he's right in there did he get one he got one to hide and he's right in there did he get one he so over here we've got more broccoli these ones are just starting to form heads and along and getting along there there's wasps in here too so this is good 
this is great actually. These wasps are all doing good work. Um, but there's been damage caused by some of the uh, worms by, I don't know, damaging the heads and stems and creating misshapen uh, crowns. Anyway, I hope this uh, has been educational. Um, this is the first year I've been growing broccoli. And uh, it's a bit of a learning curve with uh, controlling pests and getting uh, getting nice plants to grow and harvest. We eat a lot of broccoli, so it's definitely a something that I want to be able to grow in the future. And I just want to uh, make uh, good management decisions to to produce uh, good broccoli crowns consistently. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.